Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things. And today is going to be the very last old school April vlog from my channel anyway. It's old school April vlog part three. <laughs> remembering to film the intro to a vlog before I actually start the vlog. Since I am so on top of things this time, I don't know what I'm going to get up to in the next 10 days, but I have a few crafts I'd like to get to or finish that I already started. And man, I have some books that I need to read and I've been trying to I, I think that I picked quite a few books that were a little bit on the longer side, so I'm hoping I can get to the ones that I would like to get to. So without further ado, let's see what I got up to in the last 10 days of Old School April. So I realized that I never did show my journal for Old School April, so I thought I would show that off now. I mean, I know it's done, but... I thought it would be fun to show since I was kind of behind. I was waiting for some stickers to come in. Um, so I have our old school April sticker here. And then I made this like diary looking thing. And this holds all of the prompts for old school April. So I have some ducktails. <laughs> and I have this thing that Alicia made. And it's me as a pirate parrot stealing pop tarts from Kelsey's grave after she dies. We've got all the peeps in attendance here and we have the pop tarts that I am willing to pluck out of the ground to consume. So that's normal. And then I have all of the activity prompts here. These were all made by Kelsey and I just printed them out. And she did such a good job with making like a library card of all of the book prompts. So I just have those printed out. Our watch guide. And I didn't fully finish this out, but um, the activity prompts, I tried to highlight some as I went, but I just haven't been keeping up. And then these are all of the books I read. And then I just wrote down how many points each one was worth for me and then I checked it off as I logged it like logged it into Kelsey so I wouldn't forget these were some of the stickers I was waiting for I had these cool movie stickers with Jaws and some monsters and Icy's and things so these were the movies that I watched in um, in April and I just want to say, I hardly ever watch TV or movies, so this is like an insane amount of movies for me. <laughs> I got this Xena sticker off Etsy, which I loved. And um, some more fun stickers from Pip Sticks. These were all the TV shows that I watched. These were mostly from uh, catching Saturday morning cartoons when Kelsey was streaming them. Here's were some of the activities that I did. And that is it. I just wanted to show it because I had fun with this spread and I need to make my May spread next. Alrighty. Hello, I am checking in. Today is Tuesday and I had a couple days where I wasn't checking in um, because I had a procedure done and I was not really going to talk about it because it's, I guess, kind of embarrassing, but I mean, not really. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe if I talk about it, if this helps one person um, go through this and get it done, then I will have served my purpose. So basically I had to get a colonoscopy done because my mom had cancer. And so every five years, um, I have to check and make sure everything's cool. So this was my second time doing it. And I will say that the drinking part is not fun. You have to drink this stuff the night before and it tastes horrible. Just like I can, words cannot describe, but I had to keep thinking that it was better 
than being like my mom who never went for hers. And if she had done that, she could have maybe prevented what happened, like having cancer. And so I think drinking it is better than chemo and radiation. So if that can prevent that for me, that is what I'm doing. So yeah, this, I thought it was kind of embarrassing, but I mean, really not because at some point everybody should be doing it. Um, so today, so then yesterday I had the procedure and I was just like kind of out of it for quite some time, but I did get some things done. I have been listening to Jurassic Park. I am pretty close to the end. I have maybe an hour and a half left of listening to it. Uh, so far, I would say that this is probably looking like a four star read mostly because I find almost all of the humans super annoying in this. Um, and I am very much a character driven book. There are a few parts that I have flagged towards the end where there's a character who starts talking about modern science and um, <laughs> basically how messed up it is because it is almost always is done for the wrong reasons. It's not, it's just done to see if it can be done and to be the first to do it. And it's not really for the benefit of the advancement of the human race other than bragging rights and making money. So there are some good quotes in there about that. Um, I read this. Uh, this is Creepers. And this is like a, a series that I picked up a little while ago. It's a middle grade series and this one was called The Piano. This one was pretty cute. To me, it kind of seemed like a short story, um, but for kids, but it was just a little bit on the longer side, I guess, because it's about a hundred pages. Um, but I thought it was pretty cute. It is about this family who buys a piano that starts playing on its own and it kind of goes from there. I was never bored. I thought it was cute. I don't usually write, um, I don't usually rate these because they're not really for me, but I had a good time. I also finished this, which is this Buffy 97, which is a graphic novel. Um, I had started it, I think in my last vlog and the first story in here, I really quite enjoyed, um, because it was like a full story. And after that they have like these short stories and just kind of like art pieces, but I would say and this is coming from someone who's not read any other Buffy graphic novels, but um, I know there's tons out there. I felt like the short stories were not really stories. They were only just like ideas or part of a story. And I kind of wanted more from that. I did enjoy the very first major story that they had, but I wish that the other ones were fleshed out a bit more. But I still had a fun time. It was perfect for old school April. I just, um, from what I gather and from what I've read, that this is not like the best graphic novel if you want a Buffy one. And then yesterday, I pretty much read this in one day. This was the first in the Killer VHS series. This is Melon Head Mayhem. Um, this I read the second one, Candy Cane Kills, this last December, and that's how I kind of found out about this one. And I think a third one is about to come out or just came out, um, which I'll have to check. So this was a fun, cheesy 80s time. Um, it read pretty much like an 80s movie. This is about two cousins, um, Carson and Sophia. Um, Carson, they, they grew, when they grew up, they spent a lot of time together. They watched a lot of um, like monster movies and horror flicks. And uh, when Carson got older, he moved away and his grandma recently died. So he's come back after many years away to kind of clean through her house. And he finds this videotape named Critters. But when he opens it up, what's inside is like a homemade tape that has been dubbed over. And um, it was Melonhead Mayhem. So he calls Sophia, he's like, hey, wanna, you know, come over and we can watch this just like old times. And they do, and once they do, it unleashes these creatures into the world. And I absolutely love the artwork on this. They did a great job um, kind of capturing 
these little critters. I didn't quite like this one as much as Candy Cane Kills. I felt like that one had a little bit more character development than this did, but this was a fun time. I kind of wish we got a little bit more of the critters or the melon heads. I know that they're in here, but I just wanted a little bit more. Um, and but it was a fun time. It was, you know, a fun read. It was three and a half stars for me. Next, I'm going to be starting this, hopefully today. And I've been reading Mall Rats on my Kindle. Um, I'm about 40%. So this will be my physical read that I just start and hopefully finish. I think this might be my last chonker. I don't know if I can get another one done before old school April's over, but we'll see. Other things I've been up to is I stopped by my, there is a Free little library just up the hill from my house and I usually find some fun or I found fun, some fun stuff in the past but never like this I never find anything vintage usually I've, I'll find some semi new releases in there um but I saw this like where they had all the kids stuff and this is called Fright Time Three Spine Tingling Tales for Young Readers and it's really weird because there is no date in here which I thought every book had a date and I was talking to Zach from Shadyside Library and he said there's like a whole set of these and he had some and his don't have dates either. So I think it's, I thought at first maybe a page was torn out even though I couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, it looks like a fun, creepy time. Like that cover is freaking awesome. So I think these are going to be, it looks like there's three short stories in here and it looks like it's middle grade. I just got done watching on the stream, on the Discord stream, Amy was streaming some um, music videos and I did that for a few hours while I worked on my Lego set. Well, it's actually like a knockoff Lego set um, that I picked up and because it is Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors, which I absolutely love. I've seen it as a musical. I've seen... Um, the movie. I, I love it. I love the songs in that. So uh, I'm almost done. I would show it to you, but I have a little bit of finishing touches to put on, but I pretty much completed it while watching those videos. So it was kind of like hanging out with friends, chatting, watching videos and building Lego. What more could you ask for? Saturday I did, I was on sprints with Andrew and Kelsey and that was a really fun time. I felt like I got a stomach workout because I was laughing so hard. Um, yeah, I think that about catches us all up on what I've been up to. Hopefully next time I check back in with you, I will have a good chunk of this or a decent chunk done. And yeah, I will check back with you later. Hello, I am checking in. Today is Sunday and yeah, it's been a while since I checked in, but I had had boring life adult things to take care of last week and then I did mean to check in yesterday, but then it was the sleep the slumber party for OSA and I thought I would check in like during one of the breaks, but then I don't think we ever did break um by the time I joined. So you know, just living in the moment and not worrying about getting stuff on film, uh, which I prefer. I prefer to just kind of be in the moment and talk about it later because otherwise I'm worrying about too many things. So had a blast at the slumber party. So thank you, Kelsey. I know she put in a lot of effort putting together a bunch of games and I think she always worries that, you know, that she needs to entertain us or you know, we don't need to do that. Just hanging out was fun. It was cool to be on with Coral, who I've never been on with before. Yeah, it was just a fun time. And I couldn't stay up as late as they did, even though I'm on the West Coast 
and Kelsey's on East Coast time, I think. Or she's in, no, I think she's in Central time. But whatever, I I could not hang. I Once I hit a wall, that was it. And I just felt like I was like a zombie. So I'm just used to getting up too early at this point. But I had a fun time. It was great. And other things I have been doing. Oh, I finished my, um, let me show you like off brand it's not a lego but it's like an off brand of audrey 2 from little shop of horrors and uh i was a little worried about it because my son growing up has gotten like off brand type of things to build and they never really go well the directions are usually very poor we just end up frustrated pieces don't seem to fit the way they're supposed to and i was building this while we were listening to uh, Amy had, was like streaming a bunch of videos, music videos, and I was building it and I'm like, whoa, this is going quite well. These are just like Lego until I got to the end and I had like these little just like final touches to put on. And when I was, everything was falling apart and I was getting so frustrated. Uh, more and more pieces kept falling off and I had to like take a good portion of it apart to put it back together. And I don't think it was fully correct by that point and I don't know it's very delicate <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say I put it on my bookshelf and I will show video of it so you could see it but I'm afraid to touch it honestly I'm afraid to pick it up and have more pieces fall off I'm just going to lose my mind so that is finished I had a fun time with that I'm still working on my diamond painting of Beetlejuice I'm about a little more than halfway done. I kind of just tend to work on it while I'm watching uh, other people's YouTube videos. And I have been reading Dead 11. I'm about halfway in this book, maybe a little bit more. Um, I'm really liking this. So I don't think I ever spoke about what this one was about, but um, we have a, a woman named Willow who lost her son about a year ago and she finds something in his room that just says Clifford Island. So she decides to go on to find out why this would be in his room. She goes to this island and things are just really weird there. Everybody seems to be stuck in the year, I think 1994. There's no modern uh, technology there. She can't use her phone. She gets no service. And she just kind of fits herself into the life of these people that live on the island so she could hopefully find out information as to why her son would possibly have this um, name of this island written. You can't find anything about it online and things are just weird. That's all I'm going to say. Um, this is told through mixed media. So it's either through texts or letters that are being written, letters that she's writing back to her husband to let him know what's going on on the island. Um, and then sometimes we're also just getting the perspective of different characters on the island. And it has me intrigued and it, for me, it is the way that it is told in this mixed media is kind of just giving you just enough hints to keep you interested and want to learn more, but it's not really fully revealing anything. And I'm sure it's not going into until the end, but I like the way that the story is told. I think if this was written just like in a normal style without the the mixed media then it would probably be like okay let's let's move on let's move on but the fact that we're getting just these little leaks and hints and kind of teasing us along has just has me interested so i hope i can if i can read this all day today i could probably finish it i work all day tomorrow and was it two, tuesday is the last day trying to look at my calendar. Tuesday is the last day of old school April and I really want to finish this one and I'm also about 70% into mall rats. That's on my Kindle so I've been mostly reading that one at night but I would like to get one of those done today. I'll probably be working on this. As far as mall rats goes, I think I've already spoken about it. I won't go into it now. I will wrap it up at the end because I'm not sure. I've, I've slowly been picking away at that one because it is a like a nighttime read for me. Oh, I did watch Dazed and Confused the other day, which is a movie that I watched in the 90s. I loved it. 
I had a poster of it on my wall for some reason. I don't know if I got it from like a video store or something. I'm not sure where I would have gotten that. But I remember that being on my wall. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a coming of age type one night of partying and really kind of thinking about what you want to do with your future and what everyone expects you to do when you're kind of in this you're in this time of your life where change is happening like your your last year of high school or you're graduating high school and people have all these expectations of you and you're just still kind of a kid and you don't know what the f you want you just want to have fun and hang out with your friends and not worry about what your parents expect of you so um yeah i really that movie held up for me i still had a good time watching that one Hopefully I can get in another movie tonight and possibly tomorrow after work. We'll see. Um, and then, then on Tuesday will be closing sprints and sadly this April will be over. I can't believe it has gone this fast. Um, I feel like I've been looking forward to it for so long and then it just whew, went by fast. All right, I'm going to stop blabbing. I will hopefully be reading this. Maybe I will check in again later today uh, if I get anywhere with this. We'll see. It's a very rainy, cold day, and I need to go get some stuff from the grocery store. But after that, I don't really have any responsibilities, and hopefully I could just cuddle with Sprocket and read. I'll talk to you later. Today is Tuesday. It is the last day of old school April and I cannot believe that the month has come to an end. It's pretty crazy. I am about to jump into sprints for the last time for old school April for 2024 but don't worry we will be back next year. Um, I am checking in because I finished this morning Mall Rats which I really enjoyed. It was a YA horror slasher and um, I, I was reading some of the reviews on this one and a lot of people said it was too long. I fully enjoyed it. I had a good time, um, especially considering it was a YA book. And I personally, sorry, my dog's clip clopping down, up and down the hallway. Um, I didn't find it too long because I enjoy the character development. I enjoyed getting to know them. Um, there was an aspect in this book where our main character really liked this horror movie franchise called, oh, I think it was called Across the Street, but it had a character named Xylophone Man. And I really want to watch those movies now. I just, I mean, a xylophone in anything is just epic. <laughs> um, the fact that he plays a xylophone and like, these bugs come forward to take care of business and kill whoever is in front of him is just so funny to me. Anyway, I really enjoyed that book. That was by Ivy Tholen and I think I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. I feel like it did the nostalgia very well. Um, there was a reason for it. It wasn't totally name droppy like some books, but not quite as as seamlessly integrated as in like Cameron Cheney's book. So it was somewhere in between, but I really did enjoy it. And again, four stars. And then just now, like literally five minutes ago, I finished reading Dead 11 by Jimmy Giuliano. This was a mystery book with like some horror elements in it. And it was completely written, well, not completely. It was written, it has mixed media which I think I already explained where um, some of it is text messages, some of it is letters, some of it are interviews, and uh, you're kind of slowly finding out about this town that seems to be stuck in the year 1994. Um, again, with the nostalgia, but for a reason. And I just had a really good time with this. 
I think I'm going to give this one a four out of five stars as well, which for me means I really, really enjoyed it. Um, a five star. I'm very stingy with my five stars, so it has to completely blow my mind. But I had a very good time with this and I quite enjoyed it. I didn't know what to expect and I went in with no expectations and it worked out. So that was Dead Eleven. I have been working on my Care Bear and look. <laughs> um... It was, do, it was going well until I had to do the eyes. I have made so many sets of eyes and generally I use like these little plastic eyes called safety eyes, but the main um, pattern wanted me to cut up bits of felt and he just looked really dopey to me. Like the, even the, I'll put the picture of the sample. I was like, oh no, I could do better eyes than that. And every time I tried to make these eyes, he just looked like, <laughs> he looked cracked out okay um I tried big eyes with big pupils to make it more like anime I tried all of these things and I finally have just given up and he's not totally done yet I haven't made his nose or his mouth but don't here let me cover the eyes first so you could see see what he looked like he's got a little tail he's pretty cute he's got a star and now I'll show you the eyes because I think they're a little scary. <laughs> ah, look, it's not getting any better. And I did end up using the safety eyes, but I put it with the white. The reason I couldn't just use these anymore is that I had already closed him. It's a whole thing. But anyway, <laughs> I'm hoping with his nose and his mouth, it evens out a little bit. Um, but yeah. I don't care. I still love him, but I'll feel like he's staring at me from wherever he is in the room, but that's okay. I think that catches us up on everything. There were some books I did not get to on my list, but I knew that was going to happen. Um, and that's okay. I did knock out a good number of books for me off my list that I wanted to read. So I am happy with that. <sighs> Old School April has been very fun and... I'm sad to say that it's coming to an end, but it is. Thank you again to Kelsey and all the other co-hosts for um, inviting me to be part of this fun journey. I had a blast. I had a blast last year as a participant and I had a blast this year as a host. So I hope that there, if there's someone out there that is kind of like still not sure about joining in on any kind of readathon, I hope you know that Kelsey over at Slime and Slashers, hers are very beginner friendly and I think that even if you participate just a little bit, you'll have fun. It's not super competitive. It's just about having fun. So if that aspect ever kind of um, intimidates you, because I know it did to me, like seriously, don't even worry about it. Um, and join in on one of her, she's got readathons coming up. They're not usually as huge as Old School April, but she's got some fun stuff planned for the rest of the year. Thank you guys for following me on this old school April journey. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. And thank you guys for watching. Stay spooky.